We talked about, for example, the launch cadence going up. That's because more and more satellites are being launched, especially because there is a demand for it. There's a huge demand for satellite internet, as I mentioned, including the other services that we take for granted, like communications, right, or navigation. Uh, that's the commercial and civil side of it. Uh, I know we'll touch on the military side soon. But to answer your question, yes. So if you look at, say, SpaceX itself that dominates today, right, in terms of low Earth orbit constellation with Starlink, but then China, uh, as you mentioned, uh, with uh, its uh, Thousand Sail project, as well as its nationally driven Guawang project, are hoping to launch about uh, 30,000 plus uh, 28,000, so nearly 60,000 mm. uh, in number of satellites by 2030. And they've already launched several batches of those satellites So uh, since last year. So they're starting to build their constellation. And if you actually... Uh, look at the deadlines they had set, say, five years ago, when they want to launch this constellation. Uh, they wanted to start in 2024 and ended by 2030. So the first batch was launched on time. So what I'm trying to point out here uh, to your audience is that the fact that they have said they will launch that many satellites and they've already started launching them by batches means that they will accomplish the goal of about 60,000 satellites by 2030. 